All right, so in this video, I want to talk about having a vapor blaster in an unheated garage. I get this question a lot, and actually, this is a question I had years ago. Okay, so the easiest thing to do is to heat your garage at 45 degrees 24-7. That's what I do. And when you want to come out here, you just bump up the temperature. Now, I know that's not always possible, so here's a couple more options. Um, okay, the first... I, Okay, for any, if you're going to unheat your garage, no matter what option I talk about here, you're going to have to drain the window rinse line and the fresh rinse line because those lines will be above the heater that I'm going to talk about in a second here. So all the lines need to be purged or drained. The slurry line, um, that's probably okay. You could probably wiggle it and it'll drain down a little bit. Um, that line is large and open. If it freezes, then I don't think anything will crack, okay? But anyway, you gotta drain the lines, okay? The first option, the best option, is in the plans, I show you how to build an immersion heater. And I also in those plans, I show you a cool Wi-Fi temp controller. It, you don't need to use the Wi-Fi, but basically you can select a temperature. There's a temperature probe you can stick in the pit and you can control what temperature to set it at. So I would run that and set it at 45 degrees. Then when you come out here, you wanna bump up the temperature because when you stick your hands in here and you blast and it's 45 degree water, that coldness will go through the gloves and it'll be uncomfortable after some time. So just bump up the temperature to take the chill off. So that's option number one. Option number two would be a livestock water heater and I'll throw a picture up on the screen. We had one of these for our chicken coop, for our chicken, chicken's water, and basically what that thing has is, is a thermostat and it keeps the water at 45. So you can just throw it in the pit, let it float, and it would keep the pit at 45 degrees. Okay, so that thing is like 40 bucks. Um, that will certainly keep it from freezing. And then I haven't tried this, but uh, some guys use aquarium heaters. So you just drop in an aquarium heater and um, it'll keep it from freezing. Um, and if you have closed loop bins, um, the aquarium heaters would be awesome for that because there's actually two bins plus the pit. So you got three different locations you'd have to heat and you could drop one of those aquarium heaters in each of those. Okay, I guess that would work too. Um, but that's pretty much it. But man, I have been... You know, I got a natural gas heater and I just set it at 45. Yeah, it costs a little more money, but I'm out here quite a bit. And having your garage at 45 and bringing it up to 60, 65, it's way more comfortable in here because everything is a little warmer. And obviously it comes up to temp a little quicker. And what am I spending? 20, 30 bucks extra a month in gas to keep this warm and prevent this from freezing and you know, all the other stuff that can freeze. So, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's worth it in my opinion. So those are some options. Um, I hope that helps.